by Jackson Kent there, recognizing he was double teamed and knowing somebody had to be open. Called out. He's only averaging seven minutes a ball game. That's part of the reason why. Long outside shot by Corey Holton. Can't knocks down the three. Leave him open. He'll make it. 40%. Retaining possession. Long three. Pinker just can't buy one, can he? But they get the rebound and score. Fast break. Curry gets it back. Long three. In and out. Curry takes another shot at it. The senior buries that one. Five. Curry handoff. McLean, no good, but there for the rebound is Brown. That shot no good, and Brown a second offensive rebound on this possession, and that three-pointer by McLean is good. 12-0 run for the Duke. Jamu, and he only got three shots up in the first half and scored just five points, so they went right to it. Both guys, both coaches going right to their leading scorers on the first possession. And really, it's the one-two season get the biggest advantage because they're going to face one of the lower seeds that right. have to play the night before on Friday night. So really being the one or two seed, three-pointer. That's the big advantage. Jackson, Jackson Kent is now making. Right now, 22-point lead, the kick out Mosley. There is that set shot again, and it's good. Mosley knocks it down, 10 points. Leads all Delaware scorers so far. I wasn't referencing I've, the stats. I had three people working on getting me. Oh, there's another well, steal. Here's Brown out in front. And the throwdown. Ramp is backwards. It's really? easier on the knees. So I'll remember that. When next you time exit we're here. after the game, John, walk backwards <laughs> out of the building. Nice drive there by Casman Hayes. I'll try to remember that. Heads to the bench. Matt Brady can play nine or ten and not lose much efficiency. Outside Hayes, it's good. Okay. Hayes with 11 now. He's been again so far today. Marvin King Davis, double teamed almost all the time, has struggled. And there's what you're talking about with the bench production. It's a pressure cooker. As a loser goes home, winner takes all. If you can get the trophy at the end of the weekend, then you get to go to the big dance. When you finally get to cut down the nets, there's really nothing like that. March Madness returns to Baltimore for the 2016 CAA Men's Basketball Championship. Be there March 4th through 7th at the Royal Farms Arena as the second season begins for 10 teams chasing their dreams of playing in the NCAA tournament. CAA fans can find the best seats by visiting caasports.com.